trying to think what movie was it where he, he tells this guy that you have to do the thing that you're afraid of first and then you get the confidence for it afterwards. Do the thing that you are that you don't want to do, or do the thing that you are afraid of first, and then you get the confidence for it. <clears throat> and that's how it works. One hundred percent true. And the way that it works is, if you want to be more confident, if you want to be stronger, if you want to be healthier, then you just have to do it. You just have to do those things. It's not the answer that any of us want to hear. <laughs> but the truth is that that's how um, that's how that's how we do it. It's 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 a decision. It's a decision that we make. And is it going to be hard? Is it going to hurt? Is it going to be easy? No. But you just decide to do it. For example, I'm about to do another ice bath after this video. Do I want to do it? No, I don't want to do it. But I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And I know that, see, I used to do ice baths more regularly and... Um, the beginning is always hard. The first few days, the first week is hard. But then, as I said in my previous video yesterday, it gets easier. You start to enjoy it more. And then you start to realize that life is better, much better, with those things. So you have to just do it. I was just talking to one of my clients earlier. And... Um, they are making some great progress. I'm really proud of this person. If he's watching, he'll know who he is. But, um, you know, going through a, a brutal breakup is really hard. And um, the way that it works is you've got to make the right decisions mentally. You've got to, your logic and your mind is going to be leading the grinding through the hard rock of the mountain. That's going to be the, the, the thing carving the path for you forward, is your logic, is your mind. It's the decisions that you're going to make. For example, do I want to do an ice bath? No, I don't want to do an ice bath. But the logic and my, my mind knows that by doing an ice bath, it's going to help my body recover, it's going to boost my energy for, for today, and I know that I'm going to feel so much better, I'm going to have a so much better day. I know that's not great English, but my, my day is going to be so much better if I do it. And you know what? It's worth it to me. So having that foresight is really important, and I've learned this also through jiu-jitsu because I know that when I, when I have a match or whenever I am rolling in the gym and I don't give it my all and I lose or I tap out or I get submitted or choked or armbarred or whatever, I know that when I go home, I'm going to feel like crap for the rest of the day. <clears throat> so it has affected me in that whenever I'm in the gym and I'm rolling with someone, or training with someone, or I have a match with someone, I will remember that feeling before I go into my match, or while I'm in my match. I will be like, okay, remember how it feels when you don't give it your all, and you're at home, and you're like, crap, you're shit, fuck, this sucks. So I think of that before, and then I give it my all, and I try to make the right decisions. And this is the core of living happily and, and healthily, okay? I don't know if that's a word, but there you go, healthily, is to allow your mind, and this is what the uh, 
the core message of this video is going to be is that you have to just follow your mind. Your mind is going to be like, I don't know if you've ever seen how those SWAT team cops in America, the FBI, or, you know, the special forces raid, you know, houses. There's always a guy at the front with the shield, like this bulletproof shield with a little glass, and he goes up the staircase, and everyone else follows behind him. <clears throat> That's going to be your logic. That's going to be your mind. That's going to be the decisions that you make. They're going to carve a path forward, and your heart, your feelings, like me, I don't want to do an ice bath, or this person that I was coaching earlier today, my, one of my clients, was, you know, doesn't want to do certain things, still is hurting, still is aching, still has the emptiness and sadness, but he's logically doing the things that he needs to do, and it's going to pay off for him. The same way that it's going to pay off for me when I go and do my ice bath that I don't want to do. The point is, everyone, that let your mind lead the charge with that shield and your emotions will follow. Okay? So your emotions are going to always be lagging behind. Okay? So you might start doing the right things, like you might start throwing away old clothes, buying some new clothes eating, uh, you know, better, uh, doing the exercise, reading good books, watching great videos, um, treating yourself better, going to massages, getting regular haircuts. All these things I'm listing, by the way, is basically self-love, giving yourself focus and attention, filling your time up with stuff, that's about you, rather than thinking, stressing about things that you have no control over that are not going to serve you. One of the things that I learned when I, when I was going through uh, a lot of struggles and you know, it's kind of like, I guess, rock bottom, you could say, was you'll realize one of the advantages of hitting rock bottom because there's advantages in any situation and especially if you have a good if you know if if you do go through darkness if you do go through tough times you're going to realize that darkness is overrated that it's not worth dwelling in darkness most of the people that um, get in touch with me who just kind of want to feel sorry for themselves or kind of dwell in darkness and kind of go on and on about how things are hard and how they're a victim. You know, I'm, I don't, I'm not being mean, but I don't have much time for them. Like, I'm not a, a talk therapist. I'm not a, a psychologist. That's not what I'm, what I'm doing. Um, the way that I see what I am more interested in is I, I'm treating what I do more like a jiu-jitsu class. So if you want to step into this class and um, see, you know, change your life and, and improve your mental strength, your, just the way you live, if you want to improve your life and you step into this realm, this world that we're all sharing and connecting with each other, if you want to do that, I welcome you, I take my hat off to you, I respect you, and I will be devoted and I will do my best to train you the way that I have been trained by people who have shared amazing knowledge with me. Um, but I'm not going to be walking for you, I'm not going to be moving your legs for you, I'm not going to be doing this for you. All I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, share with you, uh, the techniques, everything that I have learned, I will happily share it. Why? Because I, just, I believe it's just going to improve our world if all of us are more loving, more... And the thing is, like, when you're more loving, when you're kinder, when you're um, more supportive of each other, it stems from a place of strength. It stems from being powerful. 
It's the powerful people, it's the strong people who are kind, who are compassionate, who share. Um, it's the weak who are afraid and try to pull others down, okay? So, um, this world that we're in, this realm, this whatever you want to call it, this class, the way that I approach it is people who, are, who, who step in, let's say step onto the mats, <laughs> um, have got to work. You've got to work. Okay, it's up to you. I, you know, I want everyone that I communicate with to wind up, you know, what, what we're learning here is how to be our own coaches. I'm not uh, special, I'm not anything special in any way. I am in the same boat as all of you, okay? I am every day strengthening my ability to be a better coach to myself. And that's exactly what you all out there have to uh, be focusing on, is how to be your own coach. So all the stuff that I say in my videos, all the stuff that I'm sharing, you know, when I'm coaching, is all the stuff that you have to tell yourselves, okay? So, for example, when I'm talking about throwing away old things, buying new clothes, you know, uh, getting regular haircuts, getting massages, all this stuff that's self-love, these are all techniques. So if I'm in a jiu-jitsu class, technique's going to be an arm bar, a, a neck choke, you know, a foot lock, uh, all of these different techniques. Now, for mental strength training for our life, these are techniques that have worked for me, and that's what I'm sharing with you all. Cold shower is a technique. There's going to be some techniques that are not going to work for you. It's the same with jiu-jitsu. There's hundreds of techniques and I choose the ones that work for me. Okay, so I'm going to share as many techniques as I know and you're going to custom tailor your own um, manual for yourself. You know, you're going to list all the things that work for you and then you're going to um, start f filtering them, incorporating them into your week, into your weekly schedule. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on the weekends you're going to do different things, you know, and filling up your time with as many empowering, strengthening things as you possibly can, because when your mind, when your attention is on those things, you're going to be become more powerful, more confident. I never used to walk up to... to good-looking uh, women and just talk to them. Never! I, for me, that would be like a, okay, she's really good-looking, uh, what am I going to say? Like, should I even do this? And then, after about three minutes of this negative self-talk, I would totally give up and just wind up going home and be like, in, stay in my safe <laughs> zone. Today, I just walked up to this you know, very good looking girl, not with the inten intention of wanting to sleep with her or go on a date with her, but purely because I just was interested and attracted to her, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I went up and I just start, sparked a conversation. You know, what you're going to learn by hitting rock bottom in your life is you're going to be so blessed and so grateful for it because it's going to teach you um, how to move up and be more confident because when you hit rock bottom, okay, when you're in that zone, you're going to start to become a lot more sensitive to what things help and what things hurt you more. Okay, when we're happy, it's a bit more difficult to like be aware of like the things that hurt us and make us feel better because we're full of energy. Our, our energy and wholeness level is so full. We feel, you know, it's, it's hard to notice the details. But when you go down and you kind of like are in this emptiness, loneliness, heartache, you know, state of suffering, you can, one of the uh, huge advantages of, of being in that position is you start to learn 
And for me, when I was in that situation, and I highly advise this to anyone out there who this makes sense to, is to start to write down the things, write a list of all the things that make you feel better, that energize you and empower you. I'm not talking about stimulants that make you feel better because if you're smart enough to know those things will help you short term, but then they will drag you down even further. So I'm talking about things that really start lifting you up, okay? Like the things that I've just been listing. So one of the huge things, you're going to learn so many things, people. You're going to learn so many things about life, about yourself, about other people. And one of the major things that I learned is that everyone's going through this. Everyone's uh, got uh, the confidence issues, the low self-esteem issues. No one out there is perfect, but there's a, people who are learning how to deal with it. And, you know, they're either doing it in a healthy way. There's a ton of people out there who are doing antidepressants and medications or self-medicating themselves. So one of the big things I learned, you know, which, for example, helps me when I approach a very good-looking girl, and especially those who are very good-looking, is that they are probably more shy and intimidated than you are. They are also nervous. They are also anxious. So when you approach them with your focus, your self-focus, and, you know, you're doing it for yourself, I was interested to, to talk to her. I was interested um, to spark a conversation with her. When you're doing it from that uh, place, from a place of self-love, self-interest, then it, you're going to uh, radiate confidence, you're going to radiate um, you know, wholeness, and you're not going to be scaring them away because what will scare women away or anybody away and will most likely wind up getting you rejected is when you go to, when you approach someone with a need, with a craving, with a lack, with a, I want this. You know, I wasn't, when I approached, it wasn't that. I was going, I was approaching this person with my wholeness. I was approaching this person with all of me. And above all, I was approaching this person without any expectations or needs. I just just wanted to meet a person, have a conversation, exchange a few words, and constantly in my mind checking in and saying, don't um, succumb to like needing something, to wanting something. Be ready to end this conversation and be satisfied with um, how it was. And when you do that, you wind up becoming more attractive, more desirable, and it's a more fun and pleasurable experience. All right? I'm not trying to come across as, you know, some goody two-shoes who knows, you know, no, I'm a know-it-all or anything like this. No, I'm in the same boat as you. I, I wasn't, wasn't like this for most of my life, okay? I have, in the past couple couple of years started to uh, become stronger mentally, wiser, and it's thanks to hitting that rock bottom and learning, okay, these are the things that strengthen me, these are the things that keep me down, and yes, my heart, my emotions don't want to do a lot of these things, they would rather do the easy stimulating things, but my logic knows these are the things that my body needs and my life needs. So you know what? I just do them. So after this video, I'm just going to go and jump in an ice bath. I'm just going to get it done. Okay? And it's the same with this person that I'm coaching. I'm so proud of him. He, he did something so clever today. He got his, he got, he got his friend to change his Facebook password so that he won't go on to Facebook anymore and uh, look at his ex's stuff. I mean, take my hat off to this guy. If we were like a class, and to be honest, I'm actually quite tempted to 
maybe we'll see where things go with this channel in a few years, but maybe start some sort of a, you know, I don't know, like maybe a system of where people can be promoted. You know, like what's awesome about jiu-jitsu is that uh, there's a belt system and they are very, very hard on promoting belts. And yes, I just said the word hard on in this video. <laughs> okay, you see how immature I can be? But they're very strict and difficult with giving belts. So when you get your blue belt, it's a huge accomplishment. And by the way, the blue belt's the, the first promotion. In other martial arts like Taekwondo, Karate, or you know, there's tons of others, they give belts out a lot easier. But with Jiu Jitsu, and what makes Jiu Jitsu really so special is you have to work your ass off just to get one promotion. And um, you know, you'll see, if any of you out there are familiar with the UFC or mixed martial arts, you will see professional, well-known, famous fighters who will walk into the ring before their fight with, a, with their blue belt, with their jiu-jitsu blue belt. And it's only your first promotion. There's, after blue, there's purple, there's brown, and then there's black, the final belt. But even with their blue belt, they're proud of that achievement. So to cut a long story short, I'm really interested to eventually, in time, get into some sort of a, you know, start, you know for people who are really serious about um, life, life coaching themselves, for strength, mental strength conditioning themselves, for improving their lives, I, I think this a belt system is really helpful, and I would... Uh, have my eyes on this guy who I'm coaching at the moment and what he just did demonstrated incredible mental strength because he knows that his heart, in his heart, in his emotions, what he did, what he decided is going to be really hard. He knew it, but mentally he did it and he took that step and it's going to pay off for him in a huge way because rather than every day going onto his ex's page, looking at her stuff, you know, very likely seeing things that are going to hurt him and probably keep him down for another six months, he just accelerated his strength, uh, empowerment, I think, considerably, by 50%, I think. And he's going to see the results. He's going to heal quicker. He's going to become more powerful more quickly. And, you know, look, let's be honest here. Most people want their exes back. And I don't like giving hope out, but he's only going to improve his chances of that by what he's done. I'm not saying that that's why he should be doing it, but what he did will only improve his chances. Okay? So logic has to be the way forward for us. Excuse me. <clears throat> and we just have to just do it. We have to just do it. So going back to how I started this video, you do the things that you're afraid to do, and then you get the courage for them afterwards. And I can't, I still can't remember the movie that it's from. Hmm. But I'm sure it will come to me. Um... I think it was like a war movie or something, but yeah, so um, you just have to do it, people. You have to do the stuff that's hard. I get this every day from people I'm coaching or, you know, emails or comments, you know, what, what do I have to do? To blow? You just have to do it. You have to put in the hard work, you know? I'm at the gym every day. I'm seeing people, they're just putting in the hard work. There's no magic bullet. There's no magic pill. You've just got to do the work. you got to do it. And... Um, if you're like me, if you're lazy, I'm lazy, I'll be honest with you. If you should, you, got, you know, I don't know if there's a way that I can put a picture on YouTube. I think there might be, I'll try and figure it out. But if you, if you saw a picture of me six years ago, you'd be shocked. I was 210 pounds, which is 100 kilos, by the way. I was really overweight. 
I was um, really, I mean, I don't want to say the word fat, but I was, I was fat. I was a big dude. Um, <clears throat> drinking, smoking, uh, I used to smoke cigars. Um, I mean, I used to wear really baggy clothes. Um, so, you know, I just want you all to know that, you know, for me, it, it has taken work. But I'm not one of these people that's going to, like, change my life around in a year. That's just not me. There are people who do that. Uh, I don't coach in that way. My coaching style is maybe more designed for people like me who are lazier. But I think everyone out there, you know, doesn't like doing the work. I don't like doing the work. So my coaching style is more about do little things every day, but do them. Do them every day. Have that discipline to just do a little bit every day. Don't slack and do nothing in one day. That you know, Do things that empower you every day. Whether it's, again, I'll run through the list, whether it's going to be getting a haircut, throwing away old stuff, you know, traveling, um, eating healthy foods that are, that are delicious but also good for you, exercising, doing some sports, introducing challenges into your life, you know, um, whether it's studying or doing new hobbies or new sports, letting go of things that don't serve you and adding things into your life that do, focusing on the people and things that lift you up and having the courage to let go of the people and the things that bring you down. Um, I have my own list. You've got to all make your own list of the things that bring you up. And, you know, it's good to be aware of the things that put, bring you down. For me, playing my guitar once a day, listening to music, creating, writing music, um, journaling, so powerful. Journaling is so powerful. Um, praying, um, being grateful. You know, and I mean, for me, all this stuff was not fun at first, but now it's fun. Now it's, it's like, it's what my life is all about, is about looking after myself. Because when you look after yourself, you're going to um, radiate that. You're going to be a fountain of all of that goodness for all the people around you, your family, your friends, your environment. Your simple presence into a room or into a space is going to be felt by other people. Okay, you're going to start to stand out a little bit in a good way. So, um, yeah, don't feel like I am special and that this is something that you can't do. I'm going to try to figure out a way to put a picture up so you can see what I look like and uh, hopefully that will help. Uh, in, you know, motivate and let you guys know that anything is possible. And uh, take, make those t little adjustments in life, okay? So it, it takes homework. It takes planning. It takes you going home after work and just sitting down for an hour and be like, okay, what are the things that, you know, make me feel better? And then just start writing a list down. Well, what are the things that hurt me and pull me down? Write those things down. You know, and uh, self-loving yourself, okay? Self-respecting yourself, self-treating yourself with, in, in, in a good way. And are you going to be perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. I still mess up a lot. I still have a ton of, let's say, let's call them weaknesses or areas where I, I need to improve. I, I still need to overcome that, what's the word? Um, temptations, you know, like I still have temptations that are unhealthy, okay? So we're all going to have them, but hey, life is long, and, you know, there's no reason for, for you to get this all right in a year. No, it's good to get all right by the time we die, <laughs> you know? It's never going to be all right, okay? But we're going to just constantly be improving ourselves and 
in, as time goes by, will just keep getting better and better. And if you have this idea that as time goes by, things are going to get worse, that's a belief system that you've got to like address because I don't believe that. I'm 36 and I'm healthier, stronger, fitter, mentally sharper, mentally wiser than I've ever been in my life. I'm much fitter and healthier today than I was when I was 18, okay? Our bodies are incredible, and if you're in really bad shape, if you have health issues, it doesn't matter. Start today. And uh, like I said, you don't have to bite off more than you need to chew. Just bite a little bit. Do a little bit every day, all right? But do it. Take steps forward every day. You know, or if it's every day is a bit too much to handle, look at it more week by week. Are you moving forward? Are you, is your health moving forward? Is your mental health moving forward? Is your physical health moving forward? Okay? So, I don't know what this video was really about. I always find it difficult to like give these videos titles. Spend, I spend like maybe 10 minutes trying to figure out what the video title should be. So I have no clue what this video title is going to be about, but I'll figure it out. And in the meantime, I'm going to go prepare myself mentally to jump into a bathtub full of ice.